everyone. Welcome back to Why You Were Cleaning. Today I have some Michael's Christmas grab bags to share with you and I cannot wait to get inside of these boxes, see what I got this year, and show you what you can find in one of these Michael's grab bags. If you have never heard of a Michael's grab bag before, these are bags or boxes or items that Michael's has had on clearance and they're about to mark them out for the year. So they stick them in bags or boxes, or if it's a larger item, they'll just put a sticker on it. And these are what the stickers look like. They sell them for $4. You can sometimes find some really great items in these bags or boxes. My store does boxes. I know a lot of stores just fills their large bags. I've also found wreaths that just have one of these $4 stickers on them and you can see what you're getting. For the most part, what you're getting is going to be a surprise. So they're really fun to go through and just see what you get. And for $4, you're always going to get your money's worth in this box. Whether it's items that you're going to be able to use or not, you'll still get your money's worth. So we are going to go ahead and we're going to get inside of these boxes that I picked up. I got 10 boxes. Some of them are smaller, some are larger, and we're just going to start from the smallest, lightest box that I found, and we're going to work our way up to the largest, heaviest box that I found. So I hope you enjoy today's video. If you do, please hit that like button, please comment and subscribe, and we'll go ahead and get started. I went ahead and went through and cut the tape on the top of all of these boxes, but I did not go digging through them, so we will be surprised on what's inside of them together, but I just wanted to let you know I went ahead and cut the tape open so that you didn't have to watch me do that for every single one of these boxes. Also, I wanted to let you know I'm going to go ahead and let you know what the retail price was on these items in the boxes, but then at the end of each box, I'll go ahead and put up on the screen somewhere how much the items retailed for, the total cost of what the items retailed for for each of the boxes. That way you can know what you can expect to get back in retail value for one of these boxes. All right, let's go ahead and we will dive right into box number one. First off here, right on top, I have an advent calendar kit and this retailed for $9.99. And this looks like it has this large felt piece and then it looks like, yes, it has all of the pieces to make your own advent calendar. So this is nice because it's great for any year. It's not like it was only good for this past Christmas. You can use it for any year. It's also great. It has all of these different pieces that you could use for other crafts as well. You don't have to use this to make a Christmas craft out of it. I'm going to set that aside. And next here I have a felt stocking kit. This says makes 12 and it retailed for $7.99. It also has all these little pieces to make your own crafts, but this one does say 2019. So you could probably replace that with some other numbers or something. And then, um, yeah, these look like they're made to be ornaments. So you could even make the little ornaments without the numbers on them. Next, I have, they're doing trash today, so sorry, you're going to hear the trash truck probably come by, but uh, next here I have these, oh, this is a table runner. It retailed for $16, and it's also jingling, oh, there, it's got bells, and it has this plaid with these trees, so that's nice. This is 12 inches by 72 inches long. Next, I have, it looks like a silo for a barn. Do not have a barn in this box, it doesn't look like. So this retailed for $30. Not going to be much use without a barn. We'll see if I get a barn in one of my boxes. Um, or if you've got a barn and you want a silo, let me know. I can ship it to you. Um, next here... I got, it looks like I have a few different picks in here. This was $6. It's an ice cream pick. Then I got this horse. It does not have a price on it. There you can see that. Let me grab a couple of other of these picks. This is a little ballerina for $5. I have some antlers for 5 
That one's gold with some tinsel around it. I got some of these, probably cinnamon. Yep, cinnamon pine cones. This says $6 on it. I got this little tin. This has dinosaurs on it. It's just, I think it's for putting cookies in or something. And then this was $4. I got a mug. Let's check this out. I'd melt for you. And it has a snowman on it. You can see and this was $10. I love mugs. I have way too many mugs. It's also chipped just slightly there, but I don't think that'll be a problem with drinking out of it. I also got this light up nose for $2.99. And I got this table scatter. This looks like it would be great for crafts as well. And this was $5. It looks like there's reindeer there, but it's hard to see them. I also got this table scatter. Or no, it's not table scatter. It's pom-pom critters. And it was $7.99. And it has all the pieces to make your own. It looks like little reindeer. I got some treat bags. These are a buffalo check. It has 18 pieces and was $5. You can see it has the cardboard part that goes across the top to close it with. I got a ribbon. This is a velvet ribbon. This is five yards and it was $15. It's kind of a darker burgundy color. It's getting dark in my house already, so it's already getting hard for me to see. Um, and then $2.99 for these foam stickers with little dogs on them. This, I'm not sure what this is. Got a question? Ask Bub. Oh, it's a talking Jewish grandmother doll. That's cool. I don't know. It does not have a price on it. No, I'm going to be late for my job. It's like, um, what's that? That eight ball or something that gives you answers? Ask me again later. I'm busy cooking. I think she's a cranky grandma. All right, next I have this. Is this a pickle? I'm not sure. Is that supposed to be pickles? I'm not sure, but it's $10 for this ornament. Ooh, I got some string. This is twine string. It has this gold on the inside. Um, and then it was $5. This is 100 yards. That's a pretty big piece. I got a picture frame. This was $14.99. It has this buffalo check. And then I got, it looks like a craft kit. This doesn't have the U.S. price. Let me see. I don't know. Probably about 11 U.S. It, it says 14.99 Canadian. So, and it's this little Nutcracker craft kit. And then, lastly, in this box, I got another table scatter for five dollars. And like I said, I'll put up on the screen here how much all of this retailed for together for box number one. Moving on to box number two. Right away, it looks like looking in the top of here that I have some of the same items as I got in box number one. So I'll try to move through those quickly. I got another one of those advent calendars. And then, oh, I got a cup. This says fur baby on it and it has a dog. This was $14.99 US. I got a pet costume. $19.99. My dog would never wear this. Also, I think it's like, I mean, it might be big enough for her, but I don't, she would hate that. Okay. And then another one of those little reindeer craft kits. I got a couple picks with teddy bears on them. These were $6. I got a, looks like a llama ornament. This was I got another ribbon. This is similar to the first one, except this one's red instead of burgundy. I got another one of those horses, 
and now we know it was ten dollars another velvety ribbon and then I got this why is I'm blanking on what it's called stocking holder this Santa's almost here stocking holder and it has this little countdown on it and this was 30 got another thing of pine cones Ooh, I got a thing of candles, unscented taper candles. This is a four piece. They're kind of a cream color and it was $8. Got some ornaments that are taped to the side of the box. I got a incomplete set, incomplete set of red. They kind of have um, a vintage glass thing going on. I don't know if you can see that but these were $10 and it's missing a couple. Maybe those broke, so they took them out. I got another picture frame. This one's just playing around the edge. Got another one of those um, treat bags. Then I got foam stickers. These are like those gumdrop candies. So it'd be like to make a gingerbread house or something out of foam. This was $2.99. Got another one of these antler picks. And then ballerina pick. I got, what is this? A squirrel? Let's say on here. It's $5. I think that's a squirrel, but the face is a little bit of a funny shape here. So... And it's not broken. Am I looking at it the wrong way? Tell me what you think it is down in the comments. I think it's a squirrel. I got another pick. Oh, this is cool. It's like a wood slice and it was $4. And then lastly, another ballerina. Okay, box number three starts off with another one of those advent calendars. I also got another one of these stocking kits. Got a Hanukkah themed gift bag. I also got placemats. This is a two piece and these match that table runner that I got and it was 10. I got this decor sign for, it was 12 originally. Got another picture frame, another one of those kits. Some more of that table scatter. I got this mouse. It's a king. It says elf ornament, but he's definitely a mouse. And it was originally $9.99. I got double silos now. This was $30. Another one of those nutcracker kits. Two more velvet ribbons. Ooh, another coffee mug. Best dog. I'm not sure why you would want a coffee mug that says best dog. I mean, unless your dog's going to use it. But $9.99 for that. And then pine cones. Got another cookie tin, $4. This one has gingerbread on it. Gingerbread men on it. Another one of those foam stickers with the dogs. Another ballerina. Little, these called a menorah, right? Yes, menorah, $30. Another one of those ornaments that I'm not sure what it is. And lastly, another treat bag. Box number four came from the same store, so I think it's probably going to have some similar items in it as well, but then pretty soon I'll get into some boxes from a different store, which should have some different items in them. So first off is another one of those advent kits, advent calendar kits, and then, oh, I got another pet costume for my dog which she probably won't wear. This item I saw at my store and I thought it would be fun to have a Christmas sweater. So it says, I believe in Santa and unicorns. So it's a size medium and it was 
and I thought that would be a fun thing to get one of my boxes and I did get it. Got another one of these antler picks. Those are going to be nice to have multiples of those because then you can pair two of them together. And then this pick is six dollars and I think it's a sheep or a lamb. I'm not 100% sure. Got some more pine cones. Another one of those noses. I'm glad I got another one of those so that my kids can have their own. I just need one more and then we'll be complete with that. And then I got another mug. It says I'd melt for you. Okay, so that's the same mug that I got before. Another one of these craft kits. I got a garland. It's a little bit stuck. It is silver with kind of a copper color. It has some pine cones. It says it was $20 some more of these little stickers and then I got a silver one of those antlers I got this pick which I think is missing something but it was two dollars and then another gingerbread man can another one of those felt rib uh, velvet ribbons some more table scatter I think I showed that before this one was five just a random flower that's not attached to anything. Then I got another of these picture frames and I got a homemade with love snowman meringue kit. I love meringue, so I'm glad I got this. Hopefully it's still good. I don't see a date on here. Do not see a date. So maybe if I open it up, the inside will have a date of how long it's good for. But um, I also don't see a price on here. So I don't know how much this was. I'll have to look it up. And then I got an ornament. It says Merry Christmas. And it has a dog and a cardinal on there. And then another package of those treat bags. And another package of the taper candles. Moving on to box number five. This is another small box but I got this one from a different store. So hopefully it has some different items in it. It does have another one of those nutcracker little craft kits in it. And then I got an ornament. This is Buffalo Check and it says, I love my cat, which is very fitting because I just got a cat this year. And this was $14.99. Looks like another ornament in here. This is another one of those dog ones. I got a small pack of ornaments, $6. They're all um, gold, red, and green. Got some mini ornaments here. These were $4.99, and they're all red. Those are in a nine pack. I got some more of this velvet ribbon in this red. I really love this velvet ribbon. It has a really great feel to it, and I think... I think one of these would be big enough to make a nice big sized bow if you have like a really large wreath that you're making. I got a reversible sequin sticker. These are $5 each and you can see these are the ones where if you push up on them then they'll have the design but it'll be in the opposite colors. I love my mutt. So now I have matching ones for a cat and a dog um, and my dog she is not a purebred so I guess you would consider her a mutt I don't know I don't really like to call a dog a mutt but um, and then I got this ornament it looks it looks to be a chalkboard ornament but it's not really in a regular package and let me see if this tag says what it is I'll just open it up let me open it. Yeah, it's definitely a chalkboard ornament. And it was $4. So you can see there. It has the matte black finish to it. I got another one of these snowman meringue kits. I got a silicone mold. What is this? A penguin. Looks like a penguin. And it was 5 I got one of these scent sickles white winter fur smells fresh cut 
I wonder if these are good until next year. That would be nice. But it doesn't say on here how much they were. I got a couple of these small plates. These were $5. They come in a 12 pack. They're both the same thing. And then I got another one of those velvety ribbons. I don't, I feel like I keep interchanging felt and velvet ribbon. So if I did, I meant to say velvet. I got, what is this? I'm not sure what this is. I don't think it's supposed to be with Christmas. It doesn't say on there what it is. I think it's maybe supposed to hang over something and then you use it for storage, but then it has this little pillow on here. Let me know down in the comments if you know what it is. I'm not sure what it is. It doesn't have a tag either. Okay. And then next I got this wine stopper with a C on it. $10. Another one of those reversible stickers. Ooh, this is... Um, this is a, an arrangement done by Michaels, $39.99 on the tag. It has this really cool pot with, it looks like a queen bee on it. I think that's what it's supposed to be saying. Really love this pot and the arrangement isn't bad either. The flowers are really nice. So I don't know that I would pay $39 for it, but that's probably why it ended up in a grab bag. Oh, and this is a fall item, $10 for this turkey and truck salt and pepper shaker. You can see there. And then this is a bulletin board. Oh, this is cool. It's not a Christmas item. Bulletin board kit for like a superhero theme. And this was marked down to clearance for $197 and it says the original price was $5. Oh, and then I got a couple other things that are not Christmas. So let's see. I got a bling patch in this starfish design, $4.99 for that. I got this sticky notes, $3. It's a roller skate. Another, okay, this is a sticker, originally $3.99. It's a little cactus. It's like a fuzzy sticker. These are bulletin board things, $2, those butterfly ones. This is, um, these are labels, like classroom labels for $2. And then this is a large folding portfolio. It has a pencil case. What do you use a portfolio for? Is this to put, um, has this pencil case included. I think that this is to put just artist supplies, maybe brushes or something inside of it. And then it doesn't have a price on it, but that's cool that I got some items that were not Christmas related. All right, this is my last small box to show you. And then I have four large boxes to show you. So first off right here on the top, I have some more of those treat bags. These were all $5 each. They have 18 pieces. I also have, there's another one. There was uh, four of those. And then I have another one with a different design, also $5 and 18 pieces. And that one has snowflakes and says Merry Christmas. You can see the little cardboard pieces on the back there. I have um, a couple candy canes. Let's hope I get a third one of these because I have three kids. And then... I have another one of those Merry Christmas ornaments, but this one has a cat on it. I think the other two had dogs on them. And then another I Love My Mutt. We are all already know how I feel about calling my dog a mutt. But then I have this 32 piece in red and white ornaments. This was priced at $30. You can see, I don't think, it says shatterproof ornaments. I don't think that they're glass. I like these longer ones here. Those are unique. And then these ones here on the side are really unique shapes as well. That's a cool find. And then I'm going to start ringing here. I got these bells making all kinds of noise. Um, these were $14, has this loop at the top and this 
brown rope. I almost call it string, but it's definitely lighter than string. And then uh, these three gold bells on that. And I think I already said $14. Oh, I got a Valentine decor piece. I wonder if this is maybe from last year or maybe it accidentally got in my box, but this was priced at $4.99. I got some more of this table scatter. Sorry, I think a bus is going by out front in a minute here. Um, another one of these ornaments or a dump truck. Um, bling sticker. This was $5.00. I got this little, oh, this is like a squishy um, keychain type thing. I don't think, I said, oh, it's under a stocking stuffer. I was going to say, I don't think this was with the Christmas stuff, but um, it's under a stocking stuffer and it says $2.99 and this is a unicorn. It's one of those squishies there. I don't know if it's focusing on that or not. I got another foam stickers with this mouse and ballerina. And then I got another one of those cups. I think this is the same one that I got with the fur baby for cold drinks. I got one, two, three, four, four packs of these um, ornament hooks. They're in a couple different sizes and they were priced at $2 and they're all in this silver color. I got some ornaments here. These are a really pretty... I think rose gold color you can see there and that was priced at ten dollars then I got this another one of these little packages of ornaments this one here is listed at $14.99 and this is a 25 piece pack of glass ornaments in this gold and red color and then you can see it also has this matte gold color there as well this is a really good box. It has a lot of ornaments in it. I got this Santa. He was $10. And then this says Holiday Spirits. So I'm guessing it's supposed to be a shaker or something. Like a margarita shaker. I'm not sure. $7. And then got another one of those. Got this. Oh, this is cute. This little teepee. I think it's probably supposed to be an ornament. It was probably $10 as well, but that is really cute. And then these are cell phone ornaments. That's hilarious. Um, $10 for each of those. I got this little angel ornament. It looks like you. it's one of those ones that you can write on there. Um, that was three. Little hashtag, another hashtag. These were 10. I have a tag, but I'm not sure what it's supposed to go on. Uh, another horse. This little silver bell. I think it's metal. $2.99. Another table scatter. A Santa hat. This is $4.99. Oh, that's pretty. This is like a, I think it's a votive tea light holder or something and this was listed at eight dollars and it it looks to be silver with um like this matte white finish on it <laughs> so like I said before I got some boxes from one store and then I got them some from another and I said that I saw that one sweater at my store there was just one left and so I got another sweater. So now I have one in a small and one in a medium. And uh, that's funny that I would get the one that was left at my store in this box. And then I got two packages of ornaments. This one's a multicolor and shapes. It has some stars in it. This has 40 pieces. They both have 40 pieces and were $14.99. Okay, so I now have four big boxes to show you. So for box number seven, 
I have a big one. I'm going to just start with the lighter boxes and work my way to the heavier boxes so that we can end with a box that's really full of stuff. So first off in this box, I have this string light set. This is awesome. This is 29 feet. This right here, I'm pretty sure is worth all of the boxes. I really like this. It has 30 bulbs on it and it does not have a price. So I will have to look that up for you. And if I find it, I'll put it up on the screen here somewhere, but this is really cool. There um, says for indoor or outdoor use. And then also in this box, it looks like I have a couple wreaths, which is really cool because they normally sell the wreaths for $4 just for one wreath. So they put a couple wreaths in this box and then the string lights, which I think all could have just been sold for $4 each and would have still been a steal at that price. First off, I have this wreath. This is a nice spring color. I'm not sure, spring or summer. I'm not sure how it ended up in a Christmas box, but this was listed as $50 on the tag and I really love the colors on this. I think that these are like peonies, it looks like. Oh yeah, this it does say on the tag that it was a spring item, so this must be left over from last year. And then I also got this Christmas wreath. This is a really great size. It does not have a price tag on it, but it has um, definitely Christmas with this winter greenery. It would also be great, I think, for for all winter long, not just for Christmas time. Box number eight is another large box. This one also has a wreath on the inside of it. And this wreath matches that last one that I just showed you. This wreath looks like it's a, in a little bit better condition than the last one. I think the last one might've been missing a few things, but this was listed as $50. So now we know how much the last one was as well. I really like the colors on this. Like I said, it'd be great for winter, not just for Christmas time. It's also sticking to my hair. And then I got some more of those string lights. I'll again have to look up how much these are. This box doesn't say either, but I got two of these in this box. My box is falling off the couch. Just a second. Okay, two of these in this box. That is a great find. I'm really excited about those. And these are the reason why I picked up this box because I could see them through the top of the box and I was like, that looks like galvanized metal. I'm sure it will be something that I like. And it is, I got these two large buckets. These were listed as $16.99. You can see there, they're big, like probably, I don't know, four gallons or something. That looks to be about the size that they are. These are really awesome finds and I'm really excited about this box. Box number nine is definitely a heavier box. This is from the first store that I went to and they were packing them really full there. So first off, I have this $11.99 for this headband. It's kind of stuffed there and it has the bells on it. I'll rattle those by the mic so you can hear them. And then I got another one of these picks with the antlers. I got several of those ballerina picks. Oh, there's a lot more antler picks in here, but they're kind of towards the bottom. So, and then I got some more of these pine cones. I got some bells from the door, um, $10 for these. And one is this kind of rustic bell. And then the other has these green bells. I think you could reuse the bells for something else as well. You wouldn't just have to leave them on there. This pick, it looks like... No, it looks kind of like a mixture between a deer and a sheep. I'm not really sure which one it's supposed to be. It has antlers, but its body has this fuzzy yarn on it, so it looks like a sheep. $4 for that. And then I got this little sheep pick. I think this is one of the ones that I got before. This one is a llama, $6. I got this really pretty eucalyptus pick that was marked at $3. 
And then I got some more of those antlers. Let me go ahead and just grab them. I got, looks like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven more. So there were eight total in that box and those are $5 each, like I said. A couple more of those ballerinas. I got this, it's kind of a pink feathery angel. The head looks really small there though, so that's a little bit odd, but $6 for that. And then, oh, here you can see it out of the box, out of the bag, I mean. And then another one of these llamas. And then I got some greenery and flowers here. So first off, I got this. It's marked at $10 and it has these poinsettias and pine cones and greenery in there. And then I got some bigger things of poinsettias. This one's marked at 20 and it's definitely missing some flowers there. And then this one's marked at 16. So I'm not sure what makes this one nicer to be 20 than this one at 16, but I don't know. Maybe if it had all of its flowers on it, it would make better sense. This was $5 for this little spray of greenery and flowers. And then, oh, thought these were together. They're not together. There is a white ballerina. Most of the ones I got so far were pink, I think. And then this poinsettia is marked at $6 and it's a burgundy color. Here's another thing of poinsettias, those $16 ones. And then a couple more of those single poinsettias. I got a few random greenery things in here. This doesn't have a price on it. I'm not sure what that came off of. Just a couple things that they just seem to just kind of stick in the box. And then I got this big thing of ornaments and it's completely coated in glitter. Um, oh, and I think some of them are broken. In case you can't hear that, it's kind of like a... You can hear that. This is a 47 piece. It's marked at $50. One of them's broken. We'll find which one's broken, but that's a really great find. I like getting those big things of glass ornaments. Another one of these. Sorry, my nose itches. And then in the bottom of here, I got some wrapping paper, which I definitely don't need more of, as my husband would tell you. This one here is open. I don't think all of it's there. Looks like somebody used it. It has some koala bears on it. Those are really cute. And the brown paper. And then there's a couple other brown paper ones. I'm assuming the koala bear one is the same price. Um, these are 30 square feet, marked at $5. Both of these have snowmen on it, on them. Then I got some silver and gold trees, also marked at $5 for 20 square feet. You can see they're a little bit reflective there. Running out of room to put all this stuff. I got a couple solid colors. There's a red one that looks to have a little bit of an orange tinge to it. And then a green one. Both of these are 30 square feet and $5. I think maybe all of their wrapping paper is $5 this year. And then I got three more. These are all 50 square feet, also $5. And you can see there, there's some bears, um, some trees, and then some penguins. All right, so we are down to the very last box, box number 10. This is definitely the heaviest, but I'm not sure why it's so heavy, so hopefully there's something extra special in the bottom making it heavy, but I don't know. Here we have another one of those red poinsettias at $16, a single one as well. Here's a greenery pick for $10. I got another one of those water cups. This one says best dog on it. Still don't understand why it says best dog. Then I got some bells. It looks like I got two more of these hanging bells on this rope. And it has the silver bells on it. And these are $14. I got some more of those picks. All right. I 
think that we've seen all of these before. The bear. We have some ballerinas in the white color instead of the pink. Another ballerina. Another angel. Here's this angel seen better days. There's a white one, but she's a little bit she's a little bit falling apart. And then I got these antlers. We haven't seen those before. Those were four dollars. I got some more of these doorbells, both in the green, ten dollars. Then I got some wrapping paper. It looks like maybe the wrapping paper is what was making it so heavy. So these were all five dollars each. We already talked about the wrapping paper before. I'll just go ahead and show you. There are four, let's see, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, eleven. There's a total of 11 wrapping paper rolls in this one. I'm gonna move them off to the side so I can get the rest of the stuff out of the box. I got some more of these Baked with Love bags. I'm going to have to do a lot of baking this Christmas, apparently. And then I got this little dog. It looks like, oh, a pin, little pin. It's marked at $9.99. I got these glasses ornaments. Like, I don't think they're supposed to be sunglasses, just regular glasses. $10 for that. I got several different types of ornaments in here. I think this one's at $12. I'm not really sure if this array of food has meaning for anything, but it just has bunch of random food on there. And then this one says, wow, it's missing the top. It might be in the box. And then this one is like a yoga mat, $5 for that one. This one is a toaster, $7. Another one of those. I got a couple more of the hashtag ones. I'm not sure what this is. It looks like it's supposed to have something there on the top, but I don't, it, maybe snapping its fingers? I'm not sure what the, the hand motion means. And then I got another one of these table scatters. And then it looks like the last two things in the box are two more of these large ornaments. So this is a 47 piece, $50. This one has red and green and white in it. Some of these have really pretty designs on them and then others are solid colors. And then the last one in the box here, it's a little bit different than that one. This one also $50 and it has silvers and golds in matte colors and then some red and green as well and then all different sizes again some of them have these little designs on them so that is everything that I got in my Michael's Christmas grab bags this year I am really excited about a lot of the items that I got I think that my favorites are probably the wreaths and then those string lights I am super excited about those and those galvanized buckets those were all really great finds and definitely worth my money to get those in a box. Let me know down in the comments what your favorite items were that I found today. And let me know if you're able to get one of these boxes as well and maybe some of the items that you got in your boxes that were different than what I got. So I hope you enjoyed today's video. Thank you so much for joining me and I'll see you next time. Bye.